Hello YouTube once again. Um, <laughs> my last video I said that I don't really uh, do any repair videos. Um, even though I take things apart a lot. I'm really kind of an electronics nerd, but here's a prime example. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and record what's going on. I couldn't really find anything on this on YouTube and maybe if you're having the same problem you'll feel a little bit better knowing that I do too. What's going on is my HDMI ports, the two on the back, my TV. Uh, here should look the same. My model number is 42PFP5332D forward slash 37. What happened was I had my TV sitting on the floor. Uh, it's big enough, right? Don't really need to stand. Uh, for a long time, had my PS3 hooked up to it. Uh, my laptop up to it many times. HDMI worked flawlessly. I had one little hiccup where settings got skewed on my PlayStation and uh, HDMI wasn't working. So I assumed that my PlayStation was the problem this time. Nope. I cannot hook my laptop up to my HDTV anymore. I ended up getting another cable from Buddy. It still doesn't work. I worked with his TV. Uh, I did the little reset thing. If you haven't tried this, give this a shot. Um, Set your, if you have a PlayStation 3 and you're having a problem with the HDMI on it, uh, set your TV to the HDMI setting uh, that it needs to be on. You can tell that by the, they're labeled on the back. I mean, you should know that, right? Uh, set it on the, uh, make sure your PlayStation's off. Hold down on the power button. See that second beep there? Uh, that will reset the video settings. So if you're not getting anything, uh, you're supposed to. I mean, it's not working for me, um, but that's the trick uh, to reset your video settings, and it should set itself up to whatever's plugged into the back of it, which happens to be my HDMI cable. I'm going to turn that back off. Um, anyways, it worked flawlessly. Then I bought the stand yesterday at the Goodwill for 15 bucks, by the way. It's awesome. And, of course, something good happens, so something bad has to happen. I unplug everything, move my TV up on top of the stand. That's all I did. Plugged everything back up, and guess what? No HDMI ports. <coughs> I just called Philips, and they walked me through basically all the stuff I'd done before, but they were really cool about it, and they basically they couldn't do anything for me. They gave me the number for a local repair shop. I'm not sure I'm interested in that. I mean, I'll probably just get component uh, plugs for my PlayStation. I mean, it's not... I prefer HDMI, but hey, you know, the only downside is, guess what? My laptop doesn't have component. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you like my Scooby-Doo blankets, yeah, don't make fun of me. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take my TV apart. Which, believe it or not, is something I've been dying to do. So, hey, gives me an excuse. Uh, I'm going to turn it off and show you something real quick. Maybe if I can get my phone to focus on what I'm about to show you. So there it's off. Buzzing stops. You can hear it click off. Um, you can look inside the back, and you will see... Oh, I can't get my phone to focus on it. Uh, there's green lights flashing back there. Excuse me, I'm going to unplug my uh, wall adapter, and those lights are still shining. And to my knowledge, uh, there has to be a pretty significant jolt of electricity to jumpstart the plasma display. Uh, so I think that there's either one big capacitor or a cluster of capacitors back there. So in order to empty those capacitors, this is my assumption. I don't want to get shocked, and I'm bound to hit something metal that's going to shock me. I'm going to, listen, I'm going to turn my TV on, see the light, okay, capacitor's drained, at least that capacitor's drained, I don't know if there's more, there probably are, um, I'm not really sure how to go about doing this, I can't find anything as far as repair goes, but I'm going to pull out the screws lining the edge, I'm going to go along the edge, take out all those screws, I'm not going to worry about these just yet, Mainly because I don't know if, if I unscrew those, maybe the internal boards are just going to fall out. I don't know. 
By the way, I don't think I mentioned it, or actually I think I did, but if I didn't, neither of the HDMI ports work on either my PlayStation or my laptop. I tried both of them. They both failed at the same time. Hopefully, that'll pinpoint a certain component that's maybe bad that I can replace on the board or something. Uh, from what I see on eBay, that port, or I'm sorry, the, uh, what do you call it, the board on the back, that it's called the AV board, I think that they called it. It's like 80 bucks, 90 bucks, plus $20 shipping. It's like $100. And for what I'm saying, it has every port on a single card. So your component, your standard AV ports, your HDMI ports, everything except for, I don't think the side ports are included in that board. At least I hope not, because that'd be one freaking huge board. But I think all those are included in the same one, which would explain why both ports failed at the same time. Still not sure why they failed, but hey. Anyway, so I'm going to take it apart and hopefully upload a part two to this video. If you're interested, check it out. Thanks for watching. Alright, this is part number two. I haven't decided whether or not I'm merging the videos together yet. So this is part number two, and I got the back off. Uh, I removed... Like I said I was going to do, I removed all of the screws along the edge, but that didn't do it. Um, I mean, those have to come out, but also, you have to remove the screws along here. Um, all the screws, on my TV anyways, I assume yours will be the same way since it's the same model. Uh, these are the silver screws, they're all the same size. And focus on that. Okay, it's pretty short. And these are the black screws that went around the edge. Also fairly short. Um, these guys, these big guys here, are in these holes. Okay. Um, I use an Allen wrench. I'm not sure what size it is because the Allen wrench isn't labeled. Um, I mean, you can figure that out. Um, the black screws. And the silver silver screws used, I believe, a T6 a bit. Let's see. Yeah, T6, I believe. Came off fairly easily. It's kind of heavy. Um, here's what the back side looks like. Turn the phone over. Believe it or not, it wasn't that dusty. I mean, it's got some dirt to it, but it's not too bad. Well, here's what the inside of the TV looks like. There's that cluster of capacitors that I assumed would be in here, although I'm not sure it's for the same thing. Oh, no, there's the power supply, I do believe. But yeah, there's... <laughs> Guys, seriously, if you take this apart, be careful. I mean, obviously, make sure the thing's unplugged, but these capacitors, man, they will give you one heck of a shock. I mean, they will hurt. So just be careful. Uh, actually, what I'm supposed to say is, don't do this at home. When I got this thing apart, I immediately found the problem with my HDMI 2 port. I haven't determined what the problem with the HDMI 1 is just yet, but here's the problem with port 2, which is what I normally used. Let's see, let me see if I can focus it. Okay, see how those pins are separated from the board? They haven't come unsoldered, They the contacts on the board have actually lifted up for whatever reason. I am not that hard on my TVs, I mean, I wasn't jamming the connector in there, I was using it normally. so. That's pretty disappointing that that's not fixable. I'm going to look into this one here. Hopefully it's just a bad solder joint or something, man. I hope. I don't know. Otherwise, this whole board needs to be replaced. Uh, I don't see a model number on it. Here, I'll focus on... Well, that might be a model number. I haven't looked these things up yet, so I'm just going to focus on them for you guys if you guys want to look into them. I'll look into them later. So there's the first label, and here's the second label. And the 
this label. Uh, sorry, it's sideways. I'm not gonna worry about flipping my phone over. Um, that's definitely the problem in my case. And I, the way that it's built, there's like no support to that man. There's not even enough solder on there. Trust me, <laughs> that's. that's well, my poor camera skills. That's a really poor solder job. That's just a bad design, in my opinion. I mean, there's there's this screw here uh, supporting this end, and then there's nothing over here supporting that end except for these two solder joints, which have next to no solder on them. So that's probably your problem if your HDMI ports have messed up. Again, I'm not sure what that problem is yet, but man, I hope I can figure it out, and I hope it's something I can fix. I don't think there's going to be a part three unless I figure out what the problem is with that second port. Probably doesn't matter. I had originally assumed, I'd seen in pictures, that both ports go to this guy there in the center. I was going to try to replace him, but, I mean, it doesn't seem like the problem anymore. Uh, I was correct about all the ports being on the same board. They are all on the same board. Even the cable input, or antenna, uh, cable slash antenna input, actually. And the side button, or I'm sorry, the side inputs are all in their lonesome. Hey, thanks for watching. If I helped out at all, please like both of my videos. It's, I like getting likes, it's pretty cool. So, I will see you on my next video. Subscribe if you find any of my videos interesting, please. I don't post a whole lot of videos, so I'm not going to be bugging you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I lied. There's a part number three. I went ahead and took this board out. Uh, I used a smaller Allen wrench. Uh, there's a screw here, here, there, 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 and one in the center. Uh, they're pretty easy to see. The other ones you might not notice are actually on the bottom. I have the board propped up a little bit so you can see. Uh, there is a screw there. Um, there. I believe there, yeah, there were four along these component ends and the standard AVs. And there is where the old HDMI port was. That's my girlfriend in the background. Oops. Um, that just fell right off when I unscrewed it. Uh, these are the screws that were holding that stuff in. Um, these screws are holding the HDMI port and the board down. They're all the same size. And these screws here, with the plastic threads on them, are holding the component uh, inputs down. Uh, when you're removing the screw for the HDMI, make sure you support the HDMI with your finger or something, because you will tear it off the board. They're not very sturdy. Just really try not to put any pressure on the board. And the whole thing comes off, and I found out that, as I mentioned before, that HDMI was pulled off the board. There was the problem there. It was obvious. This one, uh, the one of the pins inside the port was actually bent, and the plastic piece that separates the top and bottom pins was actually broken. So I straightened out those pins, and I went ahead and plugged the HDMI port in, and they stayed where they were, so maybe that'll fix my problem temporarily. Uh, Radio Shack doesn't sell female HDMI input ports. Double negative there. Um, is there a male When you're removing... HDMI? Yes, there is. What's the difference? The male goes in the female. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, uh, there went my YouTube rating. Um... <laughs> When you're removing like this board, seriously, be careful, because in the last video I mentioned the capacitors. I don't know where they go. I mean, some of that energy could be going down into these cables, so be cautious. Don't ground them out to the frame. Don't put your finger across the front of them. But when you're removing them, just wiggle them left and right carefully. Be careful not to pull the wires out of the plug. Just wiggle them back and forth. Otherwise... You'll pull the wire out of the plug. Hey, don't do that. <laughs> um, all of these, for me, 
have a cable. I believe they're all different sizes, so you're not going to mix them up. Don't hold me to that, but seriously, just be careful. <laughs> and Wait, people oh, are gonna go take their flat screens and take them apart and yeah, and I don't understand. Why are you I can't be the only one who does this. I don't know, I'm hoping that I help somebody out because I couldn't find any info about this. Anyways, oh they all had a plug except for the black one. On mine. I don't know what the black one's for. Special feature, I don't know. Um I feel like there's something else I wanted to mention. Um, basically, if you can't fix these HDMI ports, you're gonna need a whole new board, which, like I said, is like a hundred bucks. So, thanks for watching the video. Um, please like it. Maybe uh, add my videos to your favorites or something. And subscribe, I guess, is what I mean. If you find this interesting at all. Thanks for watching though. And I think my girlfriend wants to say hi because hi. she's been interrupting me through this third part of the video. Hi. She's playing with these, what's that called? Oh. It's a knockoff version. This stuff's pretty cool. Boring. It smells weird. It smells good. So well, thanks for watching guys. Later. Alright guys, just a quick update. Me bending that pin back on my other HDMI uh, input uh, fixed my problem. So I am a happy camper. Good luck with yours. Later.